We want to thank our patrons for all your support. Every little bit helps. Columbia Bar right now. Uh, we left at 6.30 this morning pushing for Eureka. We think we got the autopilot worked out yesterday. Today will be the proving ground for that. Um, if the autopilot holds, we'll be like 35 hours to Eureka. It's like 355 nautical miles. So um, our engine alarm's already going off, but we think it's just like a, the sensory for, like a sensor for the um, like coolant just being sloshed around because it mainly does it when we're in like really rough stuff so keep uh, chipping away at the mileage and try to get home incredible out. Perfect weather, very long rollers. 
Um, we're popping into Tillamook Bay to top up our fuel so we can push on down to Eureka. It's um, super warm and the autopilot works and we are very happy. So this is cool little spot we're gonna pop into. We see breakers. We've seen uh, saw a whale this morning and some harbor porpoises. And um, we're excited about having Southern California weather. It's been a while, right? So now it's time to come in, top up the fuel, and head back out to sea and then take, take advantage. There's no winds and like no seas to speak of. So we want to push through the night, you know, motor 35, 40 hours and get us. Oh, that was just a little bird flying away from the boat. Um, but yeah, coming into this gorgeous landscape, um, top up and head out. Sailboat?
Keep watching, it's right there. Didn't even dive, it's right there. Like, real close, like two boat lengths away. Wow, that buoy thing swapped. <laughs> oh, look at that breaker, man. Tried to do a drone flight uh, from the upper deck. There's plenty of room up there. Um, I'm not sure what the hell happened. Um, maybe there was like RC interference with the radar or something. I have no idea, but it. I was holding in my hand. The propellers were going. It was struggling to take off. It took off from my hand, flew straight up, the propeller stopped, and it went upside down in the water behind the boat. So, that's my second drone in the water. And I don't know if I'll ever fly from a moving boat ever again. This is a very expensive failure that I've done twice now. And we're only halfway done with our trip, so we're not gonna have any drone footage after this. We got some pretty, pretty drone footage um, the first part of the trip, so. That'll have to do us, I guess, until we can save up enough money to buy another damn drone. Uh, so that's the report from the sea. Not fun. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Is that your log? Is that a log? 
That's a pretty nice log. Did I step on you? <laughs>